Hello, I'm Richard Nodgard, and you are watching the Baki Graduate University YouTube channel. And I've created this short video to give you some ideas for time management. Almost every graduate student faces the issue of how do I manage family, how do I manage school responsibilities, how do I manage work, how do I manage the other important things in life while I'm trying to get through all of my classes. And in this video, I'm going to give you some practical tips for managing your time more effectively, whether you're an undergraduate or a graduate student, whether you're at BGU or whether you're studying at some other school. I'm going to give you five awesome time management tips here, and uh, this will help you operate most of your time in the uh, not urgent but important category. And the first thing is, at the beginning of any class, actually take the syllabus. Take out a pencil and paper, or take out your tablet, or uh, take out a Word document, it doesn't matter what you write on, uh, and actually just list every assignment that's going to be due during the course. And then take your calendar. It can be a paper calendar on the wall, or it can be Outlook, or even your phone, wherever it is that you keep your calendar now. And instead of putting the due date for each assignment on the calendar, put the date that you're going to begin the assignment on the calendar. What this does is it helps you to become proactive so that you're spending your time not at the deadline doing something urgent and important, responding to that syllabus, but instead you've taken control and you're doing something important, but something that's not urgent because you've made this one change in your time management practice. A lot of the classes at BGU have a weekly journaling assignment, and it's been my observation with some of the other students in classes that probably one of the most difficult things for them to do is to keep on task with each week's journaling assignment. And so what happens is at the end of the semester, uh, they're going back to week four, week three, even week two, and they're trying to get all of those journaling assignments done. It sounds simple, but being proactive is a great way to avoid this rush at the end, especially with journaling assignments where you're really looking into your memory rather than into the textbook for the solutions. And so pick a day. It could be Tuesday. It could be Wednesday. It could be Thursday. It doesn't matter what day of the week it is, uh, but each day make that your journaling day. So that way you can be proactive, making sure that, hey, it's Tuesday, so it's journaling day to cover all of those journaling assignments for each and every class. Time management tip number three, a lot of classes, particularly at the graduate school level, have a lot of reading assignments, a lot of book assignments, and almost every professor will tell you, uh, make sure you read half those books before the class even starts. Well, here's Richard's time management tip. Also write your book review uh, before the class begins. As soon as you read a book, uh, begin writing that book review. Uh, book reviews are typically anywhere from 500 to 700 words, and it's a lot easier to write a book review when it's fresh on your mind. So rather than waiting for the due date, when you take the time to actually read the book, take the time to actually write the book review. Time management tip number four is simply end perfectionism. What I mean by end perfectionism is when you have a final project, when you have a book review, when you really have any other assignment, uh, do the very best job that you can do from the start to the finish. Uh, but don't begin to stress about the minute details. For example, I just completed an 80-page document for a particular class, and I found myself spending hours trying to line up my, uh, my, my graphics within that assignment. Finally, I simply gave it up. I decided that spending hours of time for perfection in a word template was simply not going to yield any improvement in my grade. Uh, sure enough, I was correct. My grade was pretty good, even though my boxes weren't completely and perfectly lined up. Time management tip number five. I forgot how many fingers I had for a minute. If you feel a sense of overwhelm, that is almost always simply a feeling. And I recommend that people take out a pen and a piece of paper. In fact, for this exercise, I actually like a traditional pen and a traditional piece of paper and simply list out when you feel overwhelmed all of the tasks that need to be completed. And your list may have 12, 13, 14, even 20 different things on it. They can, these can be both school assignments as well as work assignments as well as personal assignments. Chances are if you're feeling overwhelmed in school, you're probably wearing, feeling overwhelmed in other areas as well. And so take out a pen and paper and actually write down a long list, as long of a list as you possibly can, of all of those things that need to be done. Here's the amazing thing. When you look at that list, you'll find that if you do the top two or three things on the list, the other things are actually often a part of those projects or those tasks, and they get done automatically. 
you'll also find by doing the top one or two things that you relieve a tremendous amount of stress, leaving an ability to do a better job at those things on the bottom part of the list. Thanks for participating in the short video on time management produced by Baki Graduate University. If you're a student at another school, I invite you to check out the many awesome programs that Baki Graduate University offers in both business and ministry.